Hi guys, it's Katie here from Bella Creativa and I'm back to do another video today. So in the last video we made the cover here of um, a four page album. This is an Essencia album, um, so it's four pages in portrait. So we made the cover and we've inserted the pages and today I'm going to do this first page here. Right, so we can pop that away for the moment. So I'm using this set of SVG files, it's called Essencia. Um, the beauty of this set of SVG files is that you can make an album in two, four or six pages and you can make it in portrait or landscape. So SVG files are scalable vector graphic files that you can use on electronic cutting machines like uh, Brother Scan and Cut, Silhouette Cameo and I use a Cricut. I have a Cricut Maker and I also have a Clicket, Cric, Clicker, Cricut Explore Air 2. So um, you can just download these from my Etsy store um, as an instant digital download and start creating straight away. And all the measuring has been done for you. Your electronic cutting machine will do all the um, cutting. And if it's got a, a function for scoring, it will also do all the scoring for you. So all you have to do is think of creative ways to put it all together. I'm also using this set of add-on pockets, so these are also available in my Etsy store. These are add-on window pockets to complement the Essencia. And this style that I'm using is Flourish. So they look like this, they're little window pockets. You can put vellum or glitter paper or foil or acetate, anything you want behind it. Or you could just put scrapbook paper. It's just something different. They're an add-on, you don't need these at all. There are a few in the range, but this is the one I'm using for this album. And of course you can mix in um, all the different types of um, add-on window pockets if you wanted to. As I say, you don't need these. These pockets are exactly the same as the pockets that come in the Essencia. Um, let's have a little look, shall we? I will show you. Here we have the long pockets N1 and N2. And here I have the somewhere I have the long pockets N1 and N2 so you would get still get these pockets in the Essencia pack so you could make exactly the same album if you wanted to not using the flourish pockets you would just use the same numbered pocket um, out of the Essencia SVG files yes so I should also mention I use these little booklets when I'm making um, my videos just to show people which pieces I'm using and um, in the booklets it's a screen there's screenshots of all the different files the blue pieces underneath are the actual elements themselves so the pocket or the base page whatever it happens to be and the pink piece on top is the mat so you also get all the mats already all cut to size and you probably can't see it here and this is such a grotty page I should not show you that one <laughs> but there's little dashed lines all the way around those and they are the score lines there for you I always do a video um, at the beginning of making um, an album about how to upload to um, I can only show you how to upload to Cricut Design Space so there is a video for that already um, and I'll try and remember to link it and then the last thing is I'm using this set of um, printable um, scrapbook paper called Shabby Roses and this is also available in my Etsy store so that um, I'm using that one to the, um, in this album as well okay I'm not using my normal craft mat because it's grotty and um, despite how much I clean it it still seems to be really grotty and um, I'm using white cardstock and I'm trying trying to keep it clean so I've cut out this pile of things already and I thought I would just go through and show you the pieces that I've cut out although I will put the list here I've made a little list I will put this list in the description box below so you don't need to write down the pieces but I will show you what I'm using so I always start with the base page mat because we've already put the base pages in um, so this is my base page mat and it's L3 so that's, there's that one and I also have cut out today an N1 pocket and the pink mat or the N3 mat here so this is this this little set here my N1 pocket 
and then the mat for that which is just um, clipped to it on top at the moment. And then I have um, the P1 pocket which is quite a big pocket here and I've cut out two of the P2 mats so that's this little set here ready to go. And then I have also cut out uh, um, the U1 pocket and two of the U3 mats and that's this little set here ready to go. Uh, this is not printed very well. My printer is um, messing me around a bit. I've calibrated it and all sorts of things and um, it does generally look better than that. But anyway, I'm going to use it. So I've cut out a U U1 pocket and the two U3 mats and that's this guy here. Then I have cut out two of the U2 pockets and two of the U4 mats. And that's this little set here. So there's two pockets and two mats. And then lastly, I have cut out one of the X4 envelope flips and the mat for that, which is X8. And that's these two here. Then I've cut some bits out of the Flourish. Um, so you could also cut these out just out of the Essentia, but I'm using Flourish. So let me show you what I've cut out here. I've cut out an R1 pocket and the R3 mat. And today I've cut my mats out of this pink glitter paper. Isn't it pretty? So I've already gone ahead and stuck those on because it does take a little bit of time to um, put those down because I like to go all the way around the pieces with my fine liner um, glue bottle and then stick it down. So rather than you having to sit and watch all of that, I have tried to work ahead a little bit. But that is the R1 pocket with the R3 mat. Then out of here I've cut out the U2 pocket with the U4 mat. And that's this one here. And then I have the W1 belly band with the W7 mat. And that's here. I have also cut out the W6 corner pocket with the W12 mat. But when I cut it out, I flipped it over so that it's facing the opposite direction from on here. Okay. And then finally, I have cut out an X4 uh, envelope flip with the X4, X8 mat. And that's this one here. Okay, so there are all the pieces. And as I say, I will put the... Um, list in the description box so you don't have to try and remember all the pieces that I've cut out. Right, so I'll put my pile over here. I'm not going to use this mat. I'll probably do that towards the end. This is going to be a belly band. Uh, let's let's start with let's start with this guy here. This is the um, U1 um, pocket and the mats for that and I'm going to make this into a flip today so it's going to flip from the long edge um, so I can cut these tabs off so it's got these three tabs all the way around and you might not be able to see it but there are score lines there already so I'm just going to cut those three tabs off that one let's just go ahead and do that straight away shall we so I'm just going to line up the score line and um, trim it off. And let's hope I do a decent job because my my um, my trim is not being very accurate at the moment. See, I did not do a fabulous job of that. I might just trim off that with scissors, which is also a dangerous game. Me using scissors, but there we go. Yeah. Um, I changed this around, this back pad, and it's not cutting right on the on the black dashed line. It's cutting just to the right of it. Uh, so I sort of have to remember that, which isn't easy. Okay. It's the first time I've had any kind of issue with it with this trimmer, though. I do like this trimmer. Uh, So we've trimmed those three off. I'm just going to toss those away. Put that to the side. And then I'm just going to fold that and burnish it down. Where is my bone folder? 
Okay, there we go. I'm going to fold it both ways because I want it to fold well both ways. Right. So on here, my plan is to have a mat like so, and then I'm going to grab those U2 pockets. And I'm going to have two pockets on here and then I'm having a little flip at the top and so that I will need the flips for so let me grab those out I have two of those so I think the first thing we need to do is attach those so uh, my plan is that I'm going to pop a magnet in here which will hopefully attach to the pocket but what I might do is start by just attaching this piece here. So I'm going to put this on the back so it's neat on the back as well. So when, when it flips up, it looks nice on the back. Um, to do that, I'm actually going to cut this tag tab off because it gets a bit bulky. So let's just, um, let's just do that. Yeah, so it gets a bit bulky if you use both the tabs, and I find it's better just to trim it off. Actually, I'm going to trim it just a little hair on the side, if I can see. It's really hard to see when, so I'm not um, inking. I'm just going to cut a little hair on the side of where that score line was. Did not do a very good job of that. Just so it doesn't interfere with the, um, the folding. Okay, it's like about a millimeter that I've just trimmed off. Okay, so I think I'm going to just attach that down like that. And then if I do want to use a magnet, I'll put it underneath this um, mat, underneath the mat rather than underneath the cardboard. That's what I'll do. Okay, so. Today I'm using my usual glue, which is this Halmaz Tiger Grip glue. And so I'm just going to put some glue on here. Whoop. I always use too much glue, but anyone who's ever watched me before would know that. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to line that up as best I can and pop it down. I've been um, working on lots of little small projects or small projects lately, so um, it's taken me a little bit to get back to doing a, a, a sort of a bigger album. But I am now, and I'm quite excited for it. Okay. Yeah, so that tab still folds down quite nicely. So I'm going to attach that to the top of this guy here just along the top there. So let's put some glue on there. Like so. Right, I'm just going to flip it around so I can line it up. My chair is still a squeaky chair. I need to do something about that. I did not line that up very well. Oh, come on. Okay. Happy with that? Okay, that's good. So there's all these decisions to make and I, I've got lots of ideas in my head. Um, I'm thinking about putting a bit of uh, ribbon off here so that we could tie this um, page down. So I have some seam binding here. Um, so I was thinking if I attached it down and then I put the mat on top, that would be a good way to go. So, that seems like it should be enough. Like that. Oh, let's just make it a little bit more. So I'm just going to use my glue. I'm going to find the center. I, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit funny about this, finding the center of things. So this is t basically 20 centimeters long. That's 20 point something. Let's just so let's just say that's the center, All right? Now I feel a bit better that I'm going to get it somewhere near the center. Put a bit of glue down there. Pop a bit of glue on. Pop that down. 
and then I think we can just attach this mat. So for the first time in so long, I have decided not to do any inking whatsoever, um, which is not like, oh, I don't want to use this glue for that. Um, I just want to use this glue for the uh, matting. It doesn't um, buckle the paper quite so much. The other glue is really, the Tiger Grit glue is good for construction, but this is good for mats. Right. Yeah, um, I thought I might want to try and keep it a bit cleaner. Uh, so I decided that um, I'm not going to do any inking, at least at this stage. I'm going to pop that down there. Like so. I'm way out at the bottom here too with my trimming. Might have to go and fix that up. I just can't see those lines. Um, I have to hold it in a certain light to be able to see the lines. I think that's it. Okay. So then I'm going to attach these two pockets down. So the first thing we can do is that the pieces have pockets on all four sides so that you can use this for more than one purpose. But I'm just going to use it as a pocket today. I'm just going to fold down that top tab and glue it down because we don't need it. But also this is where the pocket is going to come in and out. So that little bit of extra strength is a great thing and um, one of my subscribers mentioned that I should do this um, Jones and I thought oh, what a great idea why did I never think of that and now I don't have to chop things off so often and they're, um, they're stronger okay so that's that one and then I'm, I can just pop the um, the mat straight on oh, no, in case no, I won't. I'll leave it because I can't decide whether to do a magnet or not. So anyway, let's do this tab on this one as well. I really need to get a bit more decisive, don't I? It's difficult because this, you know, when I designed these, I designed them to be... I'm just going to trim this little bit here. For some reason, it's not bending very well. Um, I designed them so that you could use all of the pieces in lots of different ways and now I find it impossible to decide which way to use anything. Okay, so then I'm just going to pop a pocket here and then I'm going to put the next one right on top. So let's just put some glue on these side pieces like so and this bottom bit. Like so. That delicate balancing act that I can never get right between too much glue and not enough. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this guy down on here. I'm going to try and line it up. Oh my goodness. There. Oh, this glue is being so sticky today. Along the bottom, like so. Come on. Let's line it up down the side. Down that side. Give it a good burnish. Now this one, I'm thinking maybe we'll just slide it, leave that top tab open, bottom tab open, and just slide it in like that. So then... This top pocket is a long pocket. I think that's a good plan. So we don't even need to glue that down. We're just going to put glue on these sides. And this side. Okay, and then I'm just going to slip this one in like so. Line that on the side like that. 
beautiful. Okay, so then this will flip over and should put a magnet there. Yeah, let's put a magnet. I'm going to put the magnet up a little bit though because I might put a dangly on here yet too. So many decisions. All right, so I have these. I have these uh, magnets. I just bought these from AliExpress. And I'm quite happy with them. Okay, so I'm just going to put, put, put some glue about here. We'll leave room in case I want to do a dangly. Is that going to be too far up from my pocket? Let me just check. Well, we can slide it down a bit. How about about there? Got a bit of glue stuck. There we go. And then work out which way that one goes. Actually, should use a little scrap of paper in between them. See, this magnet's stronger than the glue. Uh, scrap of paper. So much paper lying around. Um, and, 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 and this. use one of the tabs that'll do I'll just pull that off and stick my magnet down put a bit of glue on there okay flip it over how close to that I see that's pretty close to the edge I feel like we might need to move we might need to shuffle down a bit otherwise it might be difficult to get that mat on there right there we go on here, flip it over. Oh, come on! <laughs> the uh, the this magnets come off, right? Okay, let's go with that. Okay, so now we can put a mat on here and a mat on here, and mat we can mat this, and it'll be it'll be done. Okay, so these should go like so and then they match up. The pattern matches as I line it up. So this is my bottom mat here. It's, it's weird not, um, not having anything inked. I have to get used to that idea. I hope it will look good. I was thinking it might look nice and clean. See if I can keep my grubby paws off it. Like so. And then this one. This one down like so. Looks good. Okay, and then this mat can go on here. Cover up that magnet. So then on the back of this guy, I just was going to put the mat on and then another pocket, the same as those two, but, but one of these ones. So this is a U2 as well. So I'm just going to pop that one down on here. All right, so we can just attach this mat. Yeah. 
And so which and why this should go? I feel like I want it to go this way. Oh that's really wobbly. <laughs> pretty well stuck down okay and then I'm just going to attach this tab top tab down again like we do for those other pockets move this out of the way so I don't get glue on it make sure it's well stuck I need one of my little wipes what have I done with that Just use one of these to wipe up my gluey messes. There we go. That's better. Okay. And what is that? Let's try and stay clean. Okay, so then I'm just going to fold in all of these tabs and glue it down. Let's just make sure we've got it the right way up because I have done that more than once. Okay, and just line it up bottom, down the sides. Make sure we're happy with that. And on she goes. Beautiful. Maybe not so beautiful just down at the bottom. Well, It'll be fine. Love this pink glitter. So cute. Okay, might need to put a bit more glue in there, but I'll worry about that later. Okay, so there's that first little um, flip done. Okay, and then with this piece here, I was going to do a flip as well. So this time it's going to come from this side of the page and so we do not need uh, this tab, this tab or this tab. Uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and trim those off. I'll try and line it up and get it wrong again probably. Yeah, this is so wonky, this this board. So it starts off okay up there, but it's just way out at the top here. Well, you know, a millimetre. Um, what have I done here? Are we keeping one? We're keeping this one, that's right. This is why I put little crosses on the one I'm going to cut, cut off, because... No sooner have I decided what I'm going to do than I forget and I end up cutting off all the tabs. And the other thing I like to do is write on the piece what it is. So I can tell you and also so I can remember what pieces I've cut out. And if it goes astray somehow then, you know, and I, I find it, I know what it is. It's not just some random <laughs> pocket. Okay, I'm going to flip it both ways. So this is going to come from this side of my page, like so. Um, and we've, we've got the mats for those and then on one side, I think on the front side I'm going to have this pocket and on the back side I'm going to have this pocket down the bottom. So I'm actually thinking I might just round this top corner. Should I do that? Why not? So I'm just going around this top corner. I don't want to do the bottom one because I'm going to put the pocket on there. I mean, I could do, but uh, then I have to round the pocket. I'm not overly worried about it. Okay, so I'm thinking I might put this one on the front. So let's round this corner. And then just have this in the corner. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, so let's 
go for it. Come on. So this is the P1 pocket and I'm putting the P2 mat on it. Nice big pocket in this instance we're using as a flip. Nice big one, lots of space for photos which is of course the reason why we make these so we can display our photos. Well, and also because we love making them. That's probably more to do with it. I want to know how many people make mini albums and then never put photos in it. Because I could well be accused of doing that. So I'm just putting the glue on those tabs and then I'm going to pop this in this corner. You know what I've forgotten to do? Um, is maybe put the, the other piece of um, ribbon on here. Other piece of seam binding on here. Hmm. That wasn't good planning at all. What are we going to do about that? Well, we could just um, attach it on under here when we glue down this tab. Let's try and remember to do it like that. Okay. So then on this side, I'm going to put this mat on. It goes that way. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it goes that way. I think I want it that way. It doesn't matter. I think I'm going to go like that. I actually think it goes up the other way, but never mind. <laughs> and then we need to put this pocket down the bottom. Okay, so let's just do that. close this tab up here for the top and fold that down and burnish that like so oh, I did a really bad I've been doing such a bad job with my folding lately I really have I don't know if I can fix that now we won't see that mess underneath <laughs> thank goodness for that so then we're just going to attach this pocket here so put some glue along there and some along here and here and pop this one down the bottom so just line that up don't you love you know, one of the things I love about um, doing these recordings is I don't spend the whole time telling you what measurements things should be. <laughs> That's one of the greatest things I love about using these SVG files. You know, I'm not saying to you it needs to be 13 centimetres or, you know, 4 and 7 eighths of an inch or whatever. It's all that's done. I just cut out the pocket and attach it. There we go. So we've got our insert coming from this way. And then this one's going to sit on top and come from this way. Isn't that going to look specky? Oh, I love it. Okay, so those bits are ready to go. So we need to get out our book. I need to clear some room because I'm encroaching on myself. Got little bits everywhere. Okay, let's move this to the side because we need that. Okay, I've got 
got this basket full of stuff here, which I'll just have to move to the side a bit. Okay, right, we're good. Okay, so I need to attach this onto here, like so, and I'm attaching it at this, this fold line here, um, not right up flush against the spine. And the reason for that is if we have this little gap here, um, it helps our pages to sit a bit more flat. So I'm just going to burnish this to make it sit even more flat. Okay, so I want this to be in the centre. So this guy is... I work in centimetres. If you work in inches, you do that. All I'm doing is finding the centre point. So that's my centre point there. And then on my page, my centre point is... Um, I'm just, it's, it's all a bit rough. 20, 11 and a half would be my centre point, but here. Okay, so I'm just going to match up that centre point with that centre point. Maybe I should put this, let's put a tiny little dot that I can get rid of. Um, rub out, erase. Okay, that looks good. Let's do it. Let's just stick it down. So I'm just going to put some glue along here um, like so and then just line those up line it up, line it up stick it down Flip over. flip out from the other side here and line up along there and I might actually we need we need some of that same binding I might just it's going to be a tight fit there I might actually glue it into this um, little pocket on the side see how that looks because this is as wide as my page I am trying to um, make it interfere less with this this little flip here and I think that would be the way to do it that looks sweet doesn't it okay so this time I'm going to put a little mark so it's exactly this piece here is exactly the same size as height as this one. So I'm just going to put a little line there and there. And um, we'll put this down first and then we'll put the seam binding in. Yes, let's do it like that. Okay. So I'm going to oh, put glue on the wrong side of the tab. Damn, damn, damn. I got what I was doing for a second there. Okay, try again. We're going to put glue on this side of the tab. Like this. Okay. You'd think I didn't know what I was doing. I am kind of making it up as I go along. Okay, so then we're lining it up between those dots, like so and like so. Let's flip it over and see if it, whoop, see if it lines up here. And it looks like it needs to be a bit lower. Have we got time to move it? 
This glue is horrible stuff for this. Don't give you much thinking time, I tell you. I wanted to be able to do this little, these little flaps up just with a bow here. So let's get another piece of seam binding. And put a bit of glue on the end. And then I'm going to attach it about here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Make sure that sits down in there pretty well. Make sure it doesn't glue the pocket together. Might need to put a little something in there for a second while it dries. Okay. Okay, so then we can tie these up together and can we make it a bit straighter, Katie? And I'll just wipe up my little gluey mess there. So those two will tie up together, but we won't do that now. All right, so then we open this up and we have a pocket here. We open this up, we have a pocket here. And in the middle, I'm going to put this uh, mat and I'm going to put these two as a double belly band on top. I think... I'll just put it all on top of the mat. So I think we'll just stick the mat down. Oops. I've kind of, I'm feeling like I'm struggling a bit today. Just need to get back into the swing of things, I think. Okay. it up with the base page and glue it down. Make sure it's pretty well adhered. Glue bits coming out there. Oh. Okay. Might need a bit more glue down here. Wonder if I can sneak some in. my bottle. Okay, let's just put this, uh, oh, let's just, uh, well, I want to find the middle of this page because I want to stick my belly bands down the middle of the page. So my page is 18 centimetres wide, so my halfway point is 9 centimetres. And do that. 9 centimetres, right there. Okay, now I'll just pop this to the side for a minute and this here, this narrow pocket is going to be one of my belly bands. So these two tabs here, I'm just going to fold them over and glue them in for a bit of extra strength um, and because we don't need those today. Just fold that over. Press it down. Oh, I can't, I, I cannot keep clean. Okay, and then this one. Oh, that's just the 
glue off my hand. Everything is so obvious on um, white cardstock. But I thought if there was any um, really horrible marks, I could probably go back with um, a bit of white paint pen and clean up my mess. Okay, so then I'm just going to pop this um, mat straight on top there like so. So our N3 mat is going on our N1 pocket, which is actually going to be a belly band. Whoops. Get rid of all those bits. Line it up and stick it down. Also. Then my W1 um, belly band is going to go in the middle of that one. So I feel like I could probably try and find the centre of that without, without measuring. Just glue on those two tabs and then I'm going to roughly... I mean, the, the smaller the area is, the more accurate I could probably be with finding the centre. Let's flip that around. So, line it up. I do need to find the centre though, because I, I did for the... Um, Okay, so this is the centre here, three centimetres. Oh, I didn't do too bad. Not bad, not bad. Okay, like that. And then we can bring our page back in. And open it up. And I'm just going to attach this guy straight down on the page. So let's do that. Tab here, tab here, and it's going to line up my little marks there and up the top. I could not see what I was doing there. That's about right. And that looks nice. I like it. Make sure it's well stuck down. And here, and that's that's it. That's our page. Not bad. So I'll just mat. I raise my little marks. So you can't see those like so. And then this guy here will flip in like this. And this one will flip over like this. And we can do this up here. Like so. Oh, that, I think that looks fabulous. I've glued this in a little bit. <laughs> Let's take that out. There we go. There we go. All right, so there's our first page with all my mucky bits on it. I'm pretty happy with that. I get, a, get back into the flow of making a whole album again and thinking about that. Um, I did buy these um, this string of charms from I'm in Australia so I bought it from Spotlight and I was thinking that I might put an eyelet in here and then just dangle one of these off there. I think that would just, just one of them, not the whole string. I think that would make a nice um, finishing touch but I won't do that on screen because um, I I use a hammer to set the eyelets and but and you, I'm sure you know how to set an eyelet <laughs> so I'm thinking just below where that magnet is I might put a, um, a silver eyelet and then or actually it might be quite down here quite close to the edge and then dangle one of these off and I had some little um, of the jewelry finding rings but I can't find them so 
Um, I'll have another look, but in the event that I can't find them, I might just hang it off one of these silver bulb pins. That might work um, effectively if I can't find the little, you know, jewelry finding circle things, whatever they're called. You know, these things in here, if I can't find one of those, although there is one on here, so we might be all right. Anyway, I will do that off camera, but there's our first page. So we've got this long pocket here and a short pocket here. Um, you know, if you wanted to make this page, you could also have attached two of these um, pieces together and made this um, a pull out a section as well. So um, a side insert so that there's that um, possibility to think about. And then we have this pocket here. We have a pocket here. And then we open up, we have another pocket here, and then we have this big area here with a double belly band so we can get lots of bits and pieces under there. A great spot for um, a booklet, uh, some, um, some kind of an insert. Um, and we've got this big area here, we can get some really big photos in here. So that's um, our page for today. Thanks very much for watching. I use the Essencia and the Flourish. And the paper pack I'm using is the Shabby Roses. They're all available in my Etsy store. In the next video, we will do the back page to this one. So I hope you um, subscribe so that you will, and hit the little bell icon so that um, YouTube will tell you when the second page comes up, when that video gets uploaded. And um, thanks very much for watching today. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks very much for your time. Bye.